So I've gotten a free request from people asking me how I set up my meter shunt in order to see how much amp hours I have left on my battery. This is a lithium battery, 100 AH lithium battery from Amped Outdoors. It's actually pretty simple once you've learned how to do it. You're gonna need two new cables. The first cable is gonna be this guy right here. This is an eight AWG 10 Marine cable. I have two 5 16th heat shrink ring terminals connected to each end, crimped. They're heat shrink and they're double heat, heat shrink just for added protection. This cable connects from the negative terminal of your battery to the B minus terminal of the meter shunt. So B minus to negative terminal of the battery. That's all you need right here. Then on the left side of the meter shunt, you're gonna have a negative cable coming in from the top of the box here, which goes out to your trolling motor plug here. You'll have the negative cable coming in from your battery charger. If you don't have one of these, I recommend it. It makes it so much easier to charge your battery. I also got this from Amped Outdoors. So that's all you need coming into this P minus terminal on the shunt. Just these two cables. Then on your positive terminal connection here, you're gonna have three wires coming in. You're gonna have your trolling motor, positive wire, which goes out to this guy as well, connected in. You're gonna have your battery charger, positive cable, connected in. Then you have your second wire that you're gonna to need to purchase. This is an 18 AWG, 10 Marine cable. I have a 5 16 heat shrink ring terminal on this side as well, plus extra heat shrink. And then on the other end, you're gonna to have to splice that a little bit, cut, cut the coating back. Then you're gonna take it, you're gonna unscrew the B plus terminal right here with a small flathead screwdriver. Take this wire, push it up inside, and screw it back down tight. That'll lock this in place. This cable is a power to the shunt. This is what gives the power to it. Then from there, you got your LCD connector, which is this little white connection right here. That runs out to your LCD display. So basically, the way this is set up, you should be able to see this display show it's actually charging. You'll see your amped hours go up or your percentage go up. Or if you're using it out in the water, you'll see it all go down. Depending on what you're doing. So I'll show you how, how, that, how that works here. Let me plug the battery in. So there's your amped hours. So you got 97.97, .97, 0.98, 0.99, 0.99, 0.99. I have the 98 amp hours charged. And if you click over here, you have your percentage. This isn't accurate because I've been playing around with this just so I can get it set up for, for this video. It should be like 100%. It's off a little bit just so I can get this viewing going for you guys. So that's your amps, but you want to see your amp hours for lithium batteries. This is 100 AH lithium battery. But I'll show you how to set this up. Once I have to unplug this guy here. So basically when you first do this, you're gonna to wanna to charge your battery fully to 100%. You'll hook this guy in to whatever plug you got. I don't know if you got a longer extension or if you just plug it straight into there. You're gonna to go to your amp hours, push and hold that middle button. Then you're gonna set this to whatever your percentage is or whatever your amp hours is. So this battery is 100 AH, so I'm gonna set it to 100 AH. Then I'm gonna set it. Then I'm gonna go over to percentage. And you're gonna click and hold that. That's gonna reset that to 100%. So now, now that's 100%. So now if you go back to the amp hours, it shows 100, because it reset itself. So you have to do, you have to set your AH first. Click and hold that. Set it to wherever you want, whether it's 50, 40, 60, 100. So make sure you set that, it may not show the correct AH on there at first, but then you have to come over to your percentage, click and hold that, and it resets it back to 
and then that's it. So now your battery's charged at 100%. This is set to 100 AH plus 100%. So now when you go to use it, your percentage will drop down as you're using it. And your amp hours will drop down as you're using it. And then when you go to charge it, you'll see that stuff raise back up again like I showed you about 30 seconds ago. And that's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.